It's not a mirage. It's 500 people gathering to witness the beginning of an ambitious project. A massive, state-of-the-art aquarium, bringing sea life from all over the globe to the heart of the desert. We are going to revolutionize how aquariums are built for the next decade. But this is really Disneyland meets a water park. Building this aquarium has been a long process for developer Amram Nishinsky. I've been meaning to build one aquarium here for the last 20 years, so it's a dream come true. The aquarium is situated right next door to Butterfly Wonderland, a 26,000 square foot facility that Amram and his team built in 2013. Now their sights are set on the world's oceans, aiming to educate, entertain, and inspire the public. We like to create a new generation of intelligent conservationists. Odyssey is no small undertaking. The 200,000 square feet, two-story aquarium will hold more than 2 million gallons of water and accommodate 15,000 visitors every day. Hundreds of species of marine life from around the world will call the aquarium home. We intend to create one of the largest selections of sharks in the country, uh, starting with hammerhead. Using 3D technology, the architects and construction team brought Amram's ideas to life before construction even began. From the moment that you walk into the lobby, you're going to see 10 to 12 acrylic balls hanging from the ceiling. This is something that has never been done before. And inside each of these balls are schools of fish of a different color, one blue, one green. It's really going to be a sight for the eyes. Next, guests will enter a several hundred seat 3D theater to watch a film about the undersea world. And suddenly at the end, we lift the screen up. It turns out that you've been in an aquarium tank all along. As the theater and audience revolve on a carousel, the journey continues through five different exhibits, complete with animatronics. It's really an engineering marvel. All inspired by a trip that Amram took to Disney World. I remember riding the submarine. And I thought, my God, I mean, it's, it's not a submarine, it's on a truck. I, I'd rather do that than uh, go on any of the other roller coaster ride. Sitting and enjoying looking at the stove and a refrigerator every three minutes as they moved me around with the music. And, and I thought, why am I enjoying it so much? But I did. Guests will get that first-hand experience without even knowing how to swim. Sea Trek is really a fun, fun experience. You put on the helmet and you literally walk across the ocean floor. It includes an encounter with a nurse shark, with stingrays, and all kinds of marine life. We're trying to break down the barriers between you know, the, the nature, natural world and, and ourselves. There will be an opportunity to interact with sea life everywhere you go. We actually have our restroom backing up to uh, one of the largest tanks, which is the shark tank. And so when you open the door, right in front of you are going to be sharks that are swimming. Construction has already begun. The key challenge is to continue to rev up the excitement while asking for people's patience as we spend the next year and a half in construction. Because people are already chomping at the bit, they're knocking on our doors. It is a world-class facility and uh, we're very excited. We're great believers in the Disney philosophy that we can educate through entertainment. There's so many things are coming to our side that I can't tell you about, and you'll have to wait and uh, see that when they come.